How are you doing? No sign of Zoe. Didn't come back last night. Look, I don't know what you two have fallen out over, but don't you think you need to get over it? You want a coffee? Yeah, thanks. When was the last time I made you coffee? I don't even know if you take sugar. It'll be fine as it comes. I thought about calling them. You know, getting the results on the phone. Just to know. Hmm. Maybe they won't give you results on the phone. Well, it doesn't matter. Face to face is better. Yeah. Sorry I keep banging on about Chris. It's quite all right. He's no idea. When I thought that Scott had raped Yolanda, I thought it would rape me too, and I started imagining all sorts of horrible scenarios all over again. Your brother can at times be criminally stupid, if you don't mind my saying so. Well, we've got a block. I feel much better knowing that Scott's innocent. Good. Oh, and I've made a decision. Mm -hmm. to take Jean and get away for a while. That sounds like an excellent idea. It'll be good news, I'm sure it will. Yeah. I mean, at worst, it's going to be something that they can fix. Look at Zach. Right as rain in no time. Chris, what have you got on today? Good morning. Because I reckon the first thing you need to do is find Zoe and make it right with her. Yeah, I know. Which isn't going to be easy, is it? Charity. What? I'm going into Leeds again. I'm staying overnight. Well, fine. Is that all you can say? What do you want me to do? Make it a stay? You could take an interest. You could make an effort to include me. Actually, don't worry. Truth is, I couldn't care less. Hiya. Hi. Just milk, please. Right. Oh, I haven't got enough. Oh, dear. Well, can I just take it and pay for it later? What? Don't you trust me? Emily? It'll be fine. Well, no, I won't take it if you don't trust me. Oh, it's all right. This is about what happened to Jean, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I did something stupid, uh, and I'm really sorry. You can pay for it later. I don't want to upset you. No. It doesn't matter. Ah, just the man I was looking for. He's busy. Yeah, he looks it. He is. <laughs> In the middle of a round. Yeah, it's tough being a postman. So you'd not be interested in any part time work then? Well, the kitchen job. Ah. Don't worry, you obviously rest off your feet. What are we looking at her for? Need the wife's permission. Doesn't make a move without checking with me. Yeah, I'm definitely up for it. Ah, see? He didn't have to wait for you to say it was okay. I know. I'm gonna pay for it later. There's another one of them looks. What's that one about? All I can say, Sid, is you'll know when you're married. I never called you earlier. Yeah, well, not here, right? Well, where then? You know, Chris is back. He makes things very difficult. Oh, what's the matter? Are you scared of him? Hardly. I'll meet you in the wool pack lunchtime, right? What's wrong with you? Will you just go, please? Get in, yeah? Okay. Heard a good one the other day. Terry. Doctor, I think I'm shrinking. I'm not really in the mood for jokes. No. Sorry. I'm ready for Mr. Tate. No, I'd rather do this alone. Chris? Really? OK. It'll be fine, mate. I'm sure it will. What was the punchline? Eh? Doctor, I think I'm shrinking. Oh, you'll just have to be a little patient. It's quite funny. Yeah. There you go. You expect a call? Uh, just rang the inspector in charge of my case. Left a message asking him what's going on. Right, yeah. 
Well, I've got it all sorted with Zoe now. I just need to know where I stand with Yolanda. Well, hang on, back up. You got things sorted with Zoe? Hello, all. Sorry I'm a bit late. Bit of a jam outside Harrogate. Five minutes late, to be precise. What do you think, Louise? Should we sack him? Ah, uh, might be a bit harsh. <laughs> I'll make up for it. Will you now? And how will you do that? Any task you might have for me. Any extra little services required. I promise to do an excellent job. Satisfaction, you might say. Guaranteed. Hear that? I like a man who takes his work seriously. Judy calls. Charity? Another glass of white wine, please. <clears throat> Could well be in for a bottle later as well. Um, Chris is away again for the night. All right. Yeah, I'll probably just have a quiet little drink on my own, you know. Of course, I'll have to look round Pear Tree Cottage first, seeing as though it's empty. Chris likes it to be checked up now and again, you know. It's not your job, surely. Well, it is when Terry's with Chris. Mm. Can't the Tate Empire employ someone to do that for you? I don't mind doing it. Excuse me for a minute. So, you stay out of Jean's life, and Zoe suddenly remembers she consented to sex with you. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Did you tell her to get lost? No, I told her it was a deal. I want my life back. All right. How long have you got? Long enough. Give me the keys to Pear Tree Cottage. Since when did you need keys? Well, maybe I'll have to search you for them. Well, you better have a really good look. <laughs> We've confirmed, Mr. Tate, that you have grade four astrocytoma, generally known as glioblastoma multiforma, growing in the frontal lobe of your brain. In uh, English, please. It's one of the commonest type of brain tumor. Does that mean you know how to treat it? I'm very sorry to have to tell you, Mr. Tate, but your tumor is inoperable due to its location. Radiotherapy and chemotherapy could prolong your life expectancy, but the prognosis is fatal. This is a very aggressive form of brain tumour. You should think in terms of six to twelve weeks without treatment, or possibly up to a year with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. I can put you in touch with an oncologist who can explain the side effects of these treatments, then you'll be able to make a fully informed decision. Would you like your friend to come in? Please take your time, Mr. Tate. I know how devastating this news must be. I'm so sorry. I don't think there's anything more I can tell you now. And, of course, no decisions have to be made today. Do you have any questions at the moment? Please call me if something occurs to you. And, of course, we'll have you back in very soon. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm needed elsewhere, but uh, please use this office for as long as you need. Again, Mr. Tate, I'm very sorry to have had to give you this news. Yeah, thank you. Can't believe it. Just uh, can't believe it. Chris. <laughs> Take me home. I booked his rooms in that hotel again. Take me home. <clears throat> There's a flight from Heathrow to New York at 11 o'clock tonight. So I shall be 2,000 miles away from my brother and Scott and anything else that might bother me. I'm delighted to see you in such a good mood. I think perhaps I'm turning a corner. 
At the risk of spoiling your moment, how are things with Scott? I'm going to tell everyone that I remember consenting. And in return, he's going to stay away from Jean. I think that's foolish. In fact, it reminds me of the way your brother behaves. Why should Scott have any rights to Jean when he stood by and watched me suffer all this time? And from Jean's point of view? Ashley, it works for me, and I'm not going to change my mind. So let's not talk about Chris or Scott. Let's talk about New York. Yeah. Get that down and you feel much better. You know, I'll never work as a nanny again. I've just taken Jean straight to the hospital. None of this would ever have happened. You thought you'd lose your job. Yeah, well, I don't think Zoe sees that as an excuse. And I've got a funny feeling a judge won't either. Hiya. I just wanted to apologise for this morning. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I know you'd have paid for milk. Of course I would have. I'm a bit sensitive when it comes to welfare of children, but I've no right to judge. Innocent till proven guilty. I feel much better. As I say, I apologise. Here. Yeah. <sighs> what is your solicitor say? <sighs> what solicitor? Chloe. Oh, I don't need one. OK, that's what we medical professionals call denial. Maybe I'll make an appointment then. Maybe you should. Will you ask him? I'm oh, just not sure he's my type. Well, there's one way of finding out, isn't there? Uh, Keith? Uh, yes? Oh, sorry, I've left something on in the kitchen. Uh, subtle. Keith, do you fancy going for a drink tonight or maybe something to eat? Do you know what? It's really short notice, you're probably busy. <laughs> I'd love to. Do you know what? I could listen to your accent all night. Sorry. Tacky. A little bit. We'd better discuss money then. Not very expensive. <laughs> Is that right? You see, what you get with me ain't just a craftsman. It's an artist. And artists don't come cheap. <laughs> right. I'll show you my garden gate round back if you want. You should see chisel work on that. <laughs> no, you're all right. <laughs> sure. I'll tell you what I think. I think you love your work, which means I can ruthlessly exploit you. I'll tell you what I think. I think you're desperate, which means I can name your prize. <laughs> Sounds like a basis for negotiation. Fancy a drink. <laughs> Boys. Yeah, do you want to come? Yeah, I wouldn't say no. All right, Charity, where are you off to? Do you fancy a drink? No, sorry, I'm busy. I've got to check my cottage over. What, with a bottle of wine? Well, you know, me and Mr Chardonnay have got a date with a video later. Oh, sounds good to me. Yeah, see ya. Joseph? Joseph? He's not due back till tomorrow, remember? I forgot. I'll go and see if I can find Charity. She's probably down the woolly. No, don't bother. She'll be back soon. You should go home. <laughs> don't be stupid. Leave you here on your own. Look, I appreciate that, but... I'd like some time to myself. <sighs> Look, well, why don't I stay? We can have a drink. Talk about it. What's there to talk about? I'm dying. End of story. Chris. You expect me to burst into tears? It's better than pretending you haven't got any feelings at all. A bit late to change now, isn't it? All I know is that if it were me, I, I wouldn't want to be me own. It's not you. No. Am I going to have to sack you again? I just need some time to collect my thoughts. Charity will be back soon and I'll talk to her. You are going to tell her? Of course I am. You promise? I'm going to tell her. Now go on, go. Chris, look. I know. Go on, go. Yeah, well, just um, uh, call me if you need anything. Any road, I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> go. Sorry. 
So what's this? I can seek. I know you're in here, Kane. Do you know something? You are such a big kid. Oh! <gasps> you sod! I nearly died! Kane, what if I'd have screamed? What if Edna Bird should have heard? So what? Listen to me right, this is an affair. That means it stays a secret. Yeah, right, because you don't like taking risks, do you? Don't turn you on at all, eh? Mm -hmm. Hello, sorry I can't get to the phone right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, so it's me. I'm sorry we parted like we did. I really need to speak to you. Not about Scott, but something else. So, call me if you can, if you get this message. OK. Bye. Just call me. Charity, why have you got your phone switched off? It's good, this, isn't it? Oh, yeah, loves the young dream. <laughs> yeah, well, it's easier than it used to be, though. <laughs> I had to tell your dad you were going fishing, remember? Mm. So he could meet me. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and he was like, you know, how come you've been out there so long and you aren't caught out? <laughs> Said he was going to come, come with you. Oh, yeah, nightmare. Yeah. <clears throat> You should do that again. Do what? Go fishing. Oh, don't be stupid. I'm serious, it'd be right, laugh. Oh, yeah. Well, not my idea of fun, Kane. I should get going, actually. Uh, why don't you stay the night? No way. I'm not slumming it down here when I've got my big house up right, the road. Right, you really think you've got it all, don't yeah, you? Yeah, pretty much. Are you serious? <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? The land has withdrawn a statement. All the charges have been dropped. I'm in the clear. Oh, Scott, that's great. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's worth saying twice. All the charges against me have been dropped. Including Yolanda and everything that Zoe said. Dropped. In other words, Scott Windsor did nothing wrong. I'm pleased for you, Scott. And me. But keep it down, eh? Yeah. Congratulations, mate. Interesting news. Mm -hmm. Is Zoe all right? It's been a difficult time, but I think... Yes. Yes, she's fine. <laughs> she's, she's on her way to New York as we speak. Is she? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say she's missing all the excitement, but it sounds like she's having fun. Yes. Something wrong? Excitement, fun, those are concepts which seem a little distant at the moment. Oh, come on. My life is currently a little one-note. It can't be that bad. Bank holiday service tomorrow, which I assume you won't be coming to. Oh, sorry, I've got plans with Jack. Mm -hmm. Bank holiday service will be followed by tea and biscuits with Betty and Edna, and perhaps Mavis. Now, while I've got the greatest respect for the elderly members of my congregation, I can't say that my heart leaps at the prospect. Can I just say I'll bet you a tenner your life isn't nearly as boring as Keith's? I doubt that. All he could talk about all night was my accent, why he doesn't like shellfish, and the roadworks on the A61 outside Harrogate. I thought I was going to die. In fact, death seemed a pretty attractive option. Now, don't beat about the bush. Did you like him? It's enough funnies from you, lady. When I wasn't contemplating suicide, I had murder on my mind. It's a mystery, isn't it? Here we are, too pleasant, reasonably attractive, and intelligent people, and we're dissatisfied with our lives. I have a suggestion. Don't listen to her, she's evil. Drown your sorrows. 
Well, it's not a long-term answer, but uh, cheers. Cheers, Ash. <laughs> so, what did Zoe say about you and Jean? Well, let's just say I dealt with her. The Tates aren't so scary when you uh, know how to handle them. Yeah, right. Come on, how do you get round her? Does it matter? Scott? Well, Jean is out of my life, all right? Things are back to the way they were before I told Zoe that I was the father, and that is fine by me. Jean is out of my life. Chris! Oh, what are you doing here? Change of plan. Thought I'd come home. Right. Right. Hiya. Where have you been? Out. Clubbing. With Louise. Did you? I didn't know you were that matey with it. Yeah. Me and Louise, we were in Woolpack at a loose end. Spur of the moment, thought we'd go into Otten. Where did you go? The Galaxy. Oh, rubbish. It went up too much. How are you anyway? You don't look too good. I'm fine. Right, well, I'll go up here then. I'm a bit drunk. Fine. Chris, you're definitely all right, aren't you? Go to bed, Charity. Good night, then. Good night. 